the news and these are the stories we're following at the moment. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has summoned the Libyan ambassador in Nigeria following the mistreatment of the survivors in Libya after their flight was unexpectedly diverted. Foreign Affairs Minister Yusuf Tuga noted that the Nigerian authorities have been in direct communication with the survivors and officials from the Nigerian mission in Libya have been dispatched to provide support to the stranded players and officials. He added that the situation was being treated with urgency. And no fewer than 1,000 members of the All Progressive Congress have reportedly dumped the party for the ruling new Nigeria People's Party and MPP in Kano State. Spokesperson to the Kano State Governor Senesi Bachiri Danwaki in a statement posted on his Facebook account said the mass defection occurred in Tofa and Gwari local government area where the defectors were received into the NMPP by the state chairman of the party, Ashimo Dungurawa. This comes at a time the NMPP ramps up his effort for the upcoming local government elections scheduled for October 26, 2024. The 2024 Collaboration Festival has kicked off with a charge provoking debate on climate change at the NECA Hall in Nikeja, Lagos. Collaboration is an annual festival celebrating the life and legacy of Felani Kolakwokuti, the late Afrobeat legend. This year's theme, Look and Laugh, draws inspiration from Kuti's 1980 song, emphasizing the need for critical discourse on pressing societal issues. The annual week long celebration runs from October 14th to 20th, 2024. And Oyo State has been rated by the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics, MBS, as the most employment-friendly state in the southern part of Nigeria. Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Dotson Yelade, who disclosed this in a statement on Monday in Ibadan, said the MBS, a federal government agency, made this declaration in its latest employment statistics published for 2024. Oyelade said the document revealed a significant decline in Oyo State unemployment rate, recording an impressive 2.0%, thereby announcing the state as leading in employment creation, surpassing 31 other states in the Federation, including the FCT, which recorded a 14.1 unemployment rate as of September 26, 2024. And the Nigerian government says it has adopted 88 international standards for compressed natural gas products to bolster the ongoing rollout of various CNG initiatives across the country. It said the procedure will ensure a smooth implementation of CNG systems and vehicles and to ensure the use of quality products in Nigeria. The Director General of Standard Organization of Nigeria, Infine UKK, made this disclosure in a statement issued on Sunday to commemorate the World Standards Day celebration in Abuja. And on the foreign scene, India's manufacturing output would increase by 9% if more women joined the workforce, the World Bank said in a South Asia development update on Thursday. The global financier also maintained this gross domestic product GDP growth projection for India at 7% for 2025 and 6.7% for 2026. It forecasts growth in South Asia at 6.4% in 2024 on the back of India's strong domestic demand and quicker recoveries in Sri Lanka and Pakistan. And finally, on sports, the Super Eagles players and officials are set to leave Libya after enduring over 14 hours of maltreatment from the host country on Sunday. This development was confirmed by the chairman of Nigeria's in Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabiri Arewa, via ex Ando. A Super Eagles player, Bruno Oyemichi, also confirmed the team will soon leave for Nigeria. And these are the major stories from my newsroom at this moment. We will update you at 6 p.m. See you again.